elephants, how cool is this? It's been a while since we've seen these guys. So there's a whole big herd of them, which is super cool. So it seems as though all the animals that we've been missing have come back to Juma in the last few days. So we've had the Inkohuma pride back, we've had buffalo back, we've had Ellie's back, and cheetah, all of, and wild dogs actually. So it's been all the kind of things that have been missing over the last little bit have slowly but surely started to arrive in this general area which is so cool like these guys have just come out of nowhere I haven't even seen tracks for them I saw some tracks in the Mulawati last night and I was saying this morning that I wanted to look for them and I just don't know where they've come from they must have come from Chela Pan side and then just crossed over while I was talking to Viem about all kinds of things which we'll get into a little bit later but I just want to try and reposition myself slightly just so we can get a better view of them because I've parked a little bit badly but it was, I was a bit excited because we saw elephants which is really cool and it's been like I say a while since I've seen these guys so I just want to try and get around this little bush so that VM can see a little bit better there we go Vildi that's a nice little view hello girl ah so good to see them Paula you say yay <laughs> elephants I agree Paula it's been so long since we've had a herd of elephants that I'm but kind of I don't know which ones makes me more excited the wild dogs the cheetah or the elephants I think that the cheetah probably won today but it is super cool to see them and like I, I say it was just to see a herd of them and it's been so long since I've seen a female elephant that I was beginning to forget what they look like and they seem to be super chilled the rest of them have kind of moved off into a thicket already but they are slowly meandering their way along feeding which I would expect at this time of the day it's that kind of day where the elephants can feed right out in the open even in the early afternoon it's not too hot it's a bit of cloud cover and it's the perfect conditions to kind of move around and and just feed as much as possible to sustain that rather large stomach and to keep that digestive system that works so quickly and keep that all kind of fed and well looked after but you can see that they're looking in fairly good condition, actually. Uh, the Ellie's, the last time I saw a lot of the herds, we were starting to see the stresses of winter coming through. And an elephant doesn't very often show stresses of malnutrition because it takes a lot for them to battle to find food. But after sort of two years of drought, some of the Ellie's were a little bit on the thinner side, but they're actually looking good. I would imagine a lot of them have found really good vegetation. You can see how this female, she's digging with her trunk almost to try and find all of those nutritious little green plants that are growing inside there. And she's actually not eating too much of the brown stuff. She's really trying to focus on the new green shoots that are coming through so that she can try and actually get the really... cross and move this is where they're heading is into a really dense thicket they're going to go they're going to go into a really dense thicket now so we're going to try and avoid that as much as possible and try and get into an area where we can see them now i apologize if you went away for a second and there was a little gremlin that jumped on board don't worry we've kung fu chopped them and gotten rid of them so they're all out the way but this is a nice herd i can see quite a few ellies i'm sorry my girl Okay, I'm sorry. Don't be like that. Why are you so grumpy all of a sudden? You are absolutely fine. So she's being a little bit on the grumpy side, and I'm not sure why. Out of nowhere, she's just gotten a bit cheeky. Hmm, interesting. Paula, you're asking if elephants are nomadic or do they have a home range well they've got a home range but they are quite nomadic within that group within that area their home ranges are really large and they move around quite a bit and they follow food as it goes in extreme circumstances that home range kind of boundary falls away a little bit and they'll just keep pushing until they can find food but generally they have a home range that they'll move around in and it's not like a territory where it's actively defended and it's it's very defined boundaries home ranges are tend to be quite fluid it de depends on resources food water those kind of things and that will dictate how they move around and that's maybe why we haven't seen too many of the Ellie's lately but I don't really know what got into her bonnet because she displayed no signs of being upset with us she was fine until we got just behind her and then she just all of a sudden and you can see now she's back to feeding and completely fine again so I don't know why she got a bit upset but it happens that way and you've just got to unfortunately stand there and, or sit there in our case and just absorb the bit of aggression when they're that close because if you sort of make too much noise and you shout and you 
make a lot of sort of heights and aggression towards them it often just ramps up the situation and they get a little bit more upset so it's always good just to stay calm with elephants i know it seems like a, an odd thing to say but when elephant starts coming towards you and it's aggressive or something like that the calmer you are i find with elephants the better so the more you just talk to them in a, in a passive way and the more that you just kind of display if you're on foot on a, a very relaxed body language you tend to be able to figure things out a lot better and and the elephants themselves tend to relax a lot more so it's just one of those things out here elephants do sometimes get a little bit funny and it could be because they haven't been here for quite some time and you know the the vehicle coming through also it's just you know a different kind of object remember our vehicles are slightly different shape to a lot of others and these guys might have not have seen our vehicles for a while and just kind of got in a little bit of a fright when i came behind her so at least it's all calming down now and she's a far more relaxed character as soon as you start to see elephants feeding you know that they've started to relax and that they're not too bad but maybe this is why yesterday i struggled to find them maybe they're just a little bit more on the shy side this herd and that yesterday they kind of moved into the thickets when i was around and now they're moving back again into thickets when this vehicle came along but there is a lot of them they spread out all over there's another one that's here in front i saw some more on the left hand side and that's partly why i actually didn't notice this female getting upset with me because i was looking at a whole bunch on the left that were busy kind of moving towards the road itself and it just goes to show you it's always just keep your eye on the ones closest Ilana, who's 14 years old, you asking if an elephant wasn't limited in age by its teeth, because remember, elephants only have a limited number of teeth, so they only have six sets of teeth in their lifetime. So if they had more, let's say they had 9, 10, 11, or an unlimited supply, how long do I think they would live for? Well, I don't know the answer to that. They definitely would live longer, and they would live for a lot longer, probably, uh, but I don't know exactly how long. I, there's no scientific evidence to suggest how much longer. If, but if we take something like an elephant that's been in a zoo that's fed a very controlled diet, generally Generally, it's soft pellets that are good for the teeth. Some of those elephants are going up to 90 years old, whereas here in the wild and in the Kruger area, most of our elephants are only living to 55, 60 years. So, I mean, that's adding almost 40 years or even 30 years to that total. So, maybe if they had unlimited teeth and, and, we, and they really kind of looked after themselves, we might get 100. I don't know, but it, it would kind of get them a little bit. But at the end of the day, they also have things like heart failure and all kinds of other organ failure when they get a little bit older. So, I would say maybe they could get to 100, but it would be an interesting thing to see. And unfortunately,